economic development in the 21st century needs to look differently than it did in the 20th century, and we really need to grow companies rather than try to attract them from other locations. The way that technology is shifting the workforce and the way the workforce is just evolving, we're not, um, we're not a group of people that are going to have one job for the next 40 years. So entrepreneurship and teaching that as early as possible and using entrepreneurship to create jobs and create wealth inside of a city is just something that I highly, highly support. We realized uh, through our success with Launch Fishers to date that we needed a new location. The facility here is 52,000 square feet. We're moving from 16,000 square feet. That is how you create an organic economic development strategy and make entrepreneurship and innovation an important part of a community. Today's generation, they're looking first at quality of place. And they say, I want to live in Fishers, or I want to live in Beaverton, Oregon, or I want to live in Austin, Texas. And then they go to that community and they try to find a job. So we're going to be working very closely with our school system, rolling out our high school fellowship program, as well as partnering with Ball State University in a very exciting initiative to create a center for entrepreneurial excellence. And so we've decided to move to an area of our community that we're really targeting for redevelopment and revitalization. As I grow, I want to grow in Fishers. So launch Fishers, probably a couple hundred members or a couple hundred companies um, represented there. If each of us added 25 employees, huge economic impact. And so that's how I see this thing growing from Fishers through to the state of Indiana and, and beyond. To me, I think Launch Fishers is such a great space for women to come to build relationships with the kind of people that will take their idea and, and launch it into a scalable business. Having a city, having an ecosystem that supports and encourages that kind of stuff, these are things that, you know, um, they're, in, they're intangibles that, that we really appreciate.